Yo, what is this? What is this? It's a different theme. Wait a second. My screen's also wider, which is cool. Yo, it's a jazz theme? It's jazz. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Dude, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> nice. I'm jamming, dude. I love this. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Sasquash, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different from the regular playthrough. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for some mod stuff, some uh, mod playthroughs and stuff like that. But today, I'm going to make a video showcasing this new mod that was just released. So this mod is called Plants vs. Zombies Rebalanced. Now, if you don't know what this mod is, basically, it takes everything from Plants vs. Zombies and rebalances it, makes it new, um, and changes the entire game, pretty much. So, all of the, uh, requirements to download this mod will be in the description below, and as well as Jornker's YouTube channel. Please go give him a like and, and uh, go check out his channel, because, uh, dude made this mod, and it's pretty freaking cool. I've seen some stuff on it. I saw, uh, JJ stream it. So, yeah, this over here looks kind of broken, though. I'm not gonna look too far into that, but this this kind of looks a little bit wonky. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be a constant thing or not. If it is, I might have to go fix it. Let's go ahead and let's see what we've got here. Well, that's broken. Okay, it fixed itself. Oh, never mind. All right, there we go. I think I fixed it. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, I figured it out. Yeah, there we go. That looks so much better. All right, cool. The soundtrack sounds different, dude. I'm so excited. Really quick before we get started, I want to thank Drunker for this mod and for basically just creating this entire thing. So this is going to just be a, a little bit of a mod review. I'm not going to be doing, you know, anything too crazy. I'm not going to like play through the entire game unless this video gets some support, which if you guys want to see more of this mod, then of course I'll show it to you guys. And this soundtrack is amazing, dude. I am, I am loving the soundtrack. All right. So right off the bat, we have 150 sun and a pea shooter costs 125 sun. So let's just go ahead and start putting it down. Okay. The sun meta is the same. Sun is 25 still. It seems like sun falls from the sky more often though. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so pea shooters shoot faster and 1-1 seems harder. Oh, final wave already? Wait a second. Wait, sunflower costs 25. All right, produces sun slower? Is this the, um, the edit? Like the change, I'm wondering. I think this is the change. It might be the change from the original. So yeah. All right, well, that's cool. We have sunflowers now. And of course, two lanes like normal. Oh, but the recharge seems faster as well. Okay, this is pretty cool. A faster sunflower recharge with a slower sun output from the sunflowers themselves is what it sounds like to me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, pea shooters don't recharge very fast. Uh-oh, that's not very good. But yeah, as I was saying, this is going to be a, a mod review. Just kind of testing out the mod, looking at it, you know, checking out, checking out what it has to offer and and seeing what's cool and what's different compared to the original game. But if you guys want to see a full playthrough of this, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, comment down below. Make sure that make, th make sure that you uh, let it known that you want to see more of this kind of content. And of course, if you want to see that content whenever it comes out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you know whenever a new video comes out. So these first couple of levels don't actually seem too different because it kind of seems like the sun meta changing is, you know, it's not like too bad. It doesn't seem to be too hard. I wonder what other plants will look like. Okay, so Cherry Bomb costs 250 and the icon looks different. Lower recharge. So the first waves are actually harder than normal because two zombies come out immediately and then two zombies even after that on the second wave. But it also seems that the progress bar moves slightly faster, but I could be wrong about that one. So let's see, let's try a, let's try a uh, speedrun strat here. Let's see if 50% um, still applies. Oh, there's two? 
So yeah, 50% still applies. I wonder if the zombies are changed at all, or if it's just the plants. Because it seems to me like, so far cone heads are the same, and regular zombies are the same. They seem to be all, all, all the same. So I wonder what speedrunning this version would be like. Would it, it would probably be a lot different. Seeing some experimenting on uh, JJ's channel whenever he was streaming it, I thought it was pretty fascinating, so I wanted to try it out. So we get potato mine? Oh wait, no, we actually have to do a wave first. I'm dumb. Cherry Bomb's slower recharge actually doesn't matter too much, but the slower sun generation won't let me get it. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, if you see, I'm at, a, I'm, at a, I'm at a sun deficit, so. Also, does sun stop falling from the sky after a while? Oh, never mind. Huh, we got five, we have five sun cost, three times the HP of a normal plant. So does it, ha it has less HP than a regular walnut, but it costs 10 times less than it normally would. Now we have every lane available to us, so we will now get absolutely destroyed from every angle. Exciting. So I wonder if walnut strats kind of work. Oh, wow. So the first wave has two wave points, which could be a conehead or two regulars, which is actually pretty scary. Let's see how this walnut fares. Yeah, it doesn't seem very good. Yeah, it has a lot less HP now. Oh, but the recharge is super fast. Oh, wow. Is it fast enough to infinitely stall? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's fast enough. It can do an infinite stall. That's incredible. So as long as you have five sun, you have an infinitely stalling plant. All right, so now we have to actually save sun. If we're going by speedrunning strats, we actually have to save some sun to get a cherry bomb off for this wave. And I might've done that wrong because my any percent knowledge isn't exactly the, the greatest. Actually, it seems like cherry bombs recharge is faster. Didn't it say slow re or uh, lower recharge? I don't know, I could be wrong. So far though, really, this this has been a really fresh experience. I feel like I'm playing, I feel like I'm playing PVZ, but like what the actual sequel should have been. <laughs> I mean, look at how much, look at, look at this. This is insane. The game feels faster paced. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but it feels faster. It might be faster for early game and not late game. I'm halfway reviewing the mod and also halfway speedrunning it. So actually there's an exponentially larger amount of zombies than there are in the normal game. It seems a lot more zombies are coming out. So the, the wave point values were cranked like really high, which I think is a fantastic idea. This feels really good to play. It feels like Plants vs. Zombies. It still feels like the game itself, which is always good. This is an incredible experience. I love this, dude. What a mod. The theme song is so banging. Grass walk doesn't suck anymore. So I wonder where wa uh, lawnmowers strats would, would uh, fall in these categories. There it is. All right. Well, that was an that was an insane one four. I really like that. I like this a lot. What does Crazy Dave say? Anything different? It doesn't seem so. It, this is all normal. Yeah, that's all the nor That's all the same. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Hold on. Can we get some appreciation for this music, dude? That's insane. Oh my gosh. I love the music, dude. It's jazz. It's like jazzy and, and, and cool. I forgot what the tr name of this track is, but this... This is, an, this is freaking genius. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Walnut Bowling doesn't actually seem all that different. A flute solo? I'm so, I am encapsulated by this music, dude. Oh, we have screen doors. Hmm, that's different. This is an insane, what is the saxophone doing right now? There's a saxophone solo going on. Oh my gosh, dude, can I buy this soundtrack? I will so 100% buy the soundtrack. There's a lot more zombies. The screen doors can't get killed by behind from behind either. Dude, the music. I might die. I'm actually scared. Never did I ever think that I was gonna struggle with walnut bowling, and here I am. I have one lawnmower left. This is horrifying. There's so many. I'm gonna die. 100% I'm gonna die. 
Wait. I was saved. I was saved! Yes! RNG is on my side, let's go. It's really important to start getting bounces. Really important to get bounces. I think I lost. Whoa! No! No! The last zombie killed me! No! Aw, oh, man, dude. I have to restart. And there you go. That's walnut bowling. 75 for a potato mine. 75. Moderate damage, arms faster. So it does more damage, costs more sun. No, it does less damage and costs more sun, but also has a slower recharge. Or uh, a faster recharge. Not recharge, arm time. What am I saying? Surely it'll work on one zombie, right? How fast does it recharge? How fast does it arm itself? Okay, that's pretty dang quick. I won't lie to you. I planted that and it took like seven seconds, maybe. Okay, it does kill one and it's still damage dealing, so it's like not useless, but it costs so much. I think pea shooters are just better. Yeah, this is actually substantially harder while not being like huge changes. And actually walnuts are better for wasting pole vaults. I wanna try a, a prediction strategy. I don't know how valid they'll be or how valid they are. I highly doubt that this kills that, right? Okay, it does, but he was damaged, so I don't know. Okay. So there's two pole vaulters down here. Okay, and and uh, Potato Mine still does have splash, so it's still pretty good. Okay, so 200 instead of 175 for a snow pea. What's it do? Shoots garlic peas. What? What? What does that mean? Probably does what exactly I think it does. Whenever it shoots it, it'll go to a different lane. Because I did see that on JJ's stream where he used an ice room and everything had like a garlic effect to it. So maybe that's what happens. So let's try this out. I highly doubt this will kill him just because it's a cone head. Ah, it does kill him. Barely, because he still had the rest of his body. It wasn't an instant kill. I like that little riff. It makes me happy. <laughs> Amazing mod. An incredible take on an absolute classic game. It actually seems that Coneheads are tougher because the pea shooters shoot faster. And because they shoot faster, the Coneheads have to be stronger. That makes sense in my brain. 12, yeah, they're stronger. Or, or uh, peas do less damage. This really amplifies the resource management part of Plants vs. Zombies. All right, let's try out a, let's try out a snow pea. Let's see what happens. Okay, it hasn't shot yet. Oh. Yeah, it does exactly what I thought it did. Oh my gosh, it came back. The game is so much more fragile now. It's like, if you make a mistake, it's far more punishing than it normally is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, Chomper got nerfed into the ground. Bite zombies. Wait, doesn't it normally do that? What do you mean by bite zombies? I'm gonna take the new plant because I want to see it. I want to see what it does. Just like bites them. It doesn't eat them. Let's see about the Chomper. Let's see. Let's plant it. What's it do? Oh, wow. It's strong. Oh, shoot. There's a bucket head. I have to do something. Cherry bomb the bucket head. So Chomper is a lot more, a lot stronger. Not technically stronger, but practically stronger. Chomper's practical, like casually, use, usable casually now. Instead of uh, only usable in speedruns. I made a mistake, because normally I can, I'm able to cherry bomb and Chomper at the same time. But the sun meta is different, so I actually made a mistake. What? Fire's much slower. So why would I use it? I want to use the new plant. So, so now I can immediately plant this down, like start getting a defense down. This just looks wrong to me. Okay, so now I have a defense. What do I, what, what happens now? It's a super cheap defense. I see what you mean. So it shoots two peas just a lot slower and a lot less consistently. So actually pea shooter is better than repeater now. Wow, I'm astonished at how bad Repeater is. I see. 
The first couple of uh, levels were faster, but now they're a lot slower because of the way that the game has been rebalanced, which is, I really, I like this a lot, actually. I have all these repeaters, and they're still not holding up the defense, though. I think pea shooters are better. All right. Okay, that potato mine actually worked, and it did kill both. I wonder what this music sounds like. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. It's like a, a rock theme. Sounds like something you'd hear from the 80s. Is that anyone else? Does anyone else get that vibe? It's really cool. Oh, the halftime. And now it's swung? What? Holy crap. There's so much going on here. And the, the soundtrack is so awesome. And the, the plants are just amazing. And I just, everything about this is amazing. I love this. We've got kind of like a, a garlic strategy going on. Me planting down the flimsy walnuts and the slow firing repeaters. I, I can't. This is insane. We've got like a garlic strategy. Maybe using snow peas is a bad idea. We've got a huge wave coming here. Uh, I can't even use potato mines, so I might as well just hold them for the conveyor belt. That's satisfying. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. There's so many zombies, but I have my lawnmower, so I'm okay. It's just, it looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. Oh shoot. Oh, well, that's not good. There. All right. And puff shroom costs 25 sun. Fires faster. So puff shroom costs sun now and fires faster. So puff shroom fires faster, but costs 25. It's no longer the best sun. It's no longer the best plan in the game. That's all I have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, mod is made by Jornker. Please check the description and go check him out if you want to play the mod for yourself. I'll link the YouTube video where the download link is. Um, so all you have to do is go to that YouTube video and then check that description and that'll be your download link. So that is Rebalanced Plants vs. Zombies. It's different. It's cool. If you guys want to see more of it, let me know. Make a comment, hit the like button, and yeah, subscribe and ring the bell if you're not already, of course, if you're a new viewer. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a freaking awesome day.